What is up guys? My name is Rossiter and today I'm gonna do something uh, slightly different. Uh, I'm gonna be launching a collab soon so I figured what I would do is I would make a helpful little tutorial series for um, people who want to make I Wanna Be The Guy fan game. If you don't know, I Wanna Be The Guy is a precision platformer which includes a ton of like content for, content and references to other video games and uh, it's just generally brutally hard all around. And this game has evolved a very large uh, fan game community, full of developers and players alike. It's actually kind of easy to make uh, fan games. Uh, you need two things. You need either GameMaker 8 or GameMaker Studio 1.4, and you need an engine. The first thing is GameMaker 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 Studio. You can use GameMaker 8, which I believe is free to download, wherever it is. Or you can use Game Maker Studio, uh, which is a, a lot more complex, but is a paid software. I'm pretty sure I use Game Maker Studio 1.4 because uh, it's a lot more advanced than Game Maker 8. And this tutorial is specifically for Game Maker Studio 1.4. You can get it legally, or you can you can crack it. Uh, I legally cannot tell you how to crack it, so. Uh, I'm pretty sure you could figure it out though, there's probably tons of videos out there detailing how to do it. The next thing you'll want to get is some kind of engine. Uh, the first one it, the first one is U2's engine. I believe this is it, maybe? But this is U2, this is the U2 engine, which is for GameMaker 8, and it's one of the earliest engines, and is one of the uh, most popular ones. Now you'll notice all these engines are from a site called Delicious Fruit. Now Delicious Fruit is, if you don't already know, is like the hub of uh, engines and games and the like. It's of fan games. So if you're looking for a fan game, you can find plenty of fan games here. Whether they're low or high quality, I can't guarantee that, but you can find them in Delicious Fruit, including the engines. Uh, the second one, I believe, is the Yo-Yo-Yo engine, which is essentially, um, uh, this, uh, I want to be the engine Yo-Yo-Yo edition is essentially the same as, um, U2, or it's similar to U2, but it fixes some of the problems with U2, and is for GameMaker Studio 1.4. The third engine that we're going to be looking at is not another Neil engine which is an expansion of the uh, Yo-Yo-Yo engine to add um, more items, um, more uh, gimmicks and stuff like that so you can make intricate platforming challenges. And it's mainly intended for newer game makers that can't code their own stuff. So this is gonna be the engine that we're using for this uh, tutorial. Uh, you can also use Yo-Yo-Yo engine if you, would, if you really insist on doing so. You won't get any of the gim most of the gimmicks that are here. You'll get some of them, but not all of them. But anyways, it's still Yo 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 is you can use Yo 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 because they're both for Game Maker Studio 1.1.4. We're just going to be using uh, not another needle engine for this tutorial. So what you want to do is you want to click this download game, and you're going to get brought to this media fire page. Then you want to click this big big blue download button. I already did that, so. I'm not going to do that. You're just going to download this. It's going to download. Uh, you're going to open it up in whatever folder uh, it got downloaded to. Extract the files, and then from uh, Game Maker Studio, to, uh, from Game Maker Studio, which you've installed earlier, you can uh, open it up. So we're about to, we're going to do that. So as you can see, you have the Game Maker Studio um, thing here. So if you haven't opened it before. Um, if you haven't opened it before, then ideally what you'd do is you'd open up, uh, open up the uh, game from up here. You'd open it up from up here and look for it through the file browser, or you could do this. But since I've opened it before, I'm going to open it from here. And here we go. Here is the uh, Not Another Needle Engine. Here it is. Here's the Not Another Needle engine. So, let's just run the engine real quick to uh, save everything, uh, make sure everything is compiled, and then uh, 
and make sure everything's working properly. As you can see, it's converting everything to uh, WAVs and OGGs and, you know, just setting everything up for compilation. Don't worry, this is intended to take a long time. So we are going to start a new game, and as you can see, the game's running slower than it should. This is a frequent problem, uh, especially for, uh, for, uh, like, uh, Windows 10 users, I think. I think it's Windows 10 that's causing this. Maybe. I don't know. I don't know exactly what's causing this. However, there is a fairly easy fix for this. So what you want to do is go up here to Resources, so click Change Global Game Settings, if it wants to work. Now, look for Windows. Look for Windows. Uh, you're going to see all this. You're going to see uh, game icon, uh, display name. We can all change that later. That's all pretty self-explanatory. But here's what will fix it. As you can see, the sleep margin is one millisecond. And that's what's causing all the lag. So if you change this to something like 20, which is the recommended amount, we're going to change that to 20, and then we're going to run it again. And now, as you can see, it is running at the normal speed. Which is great. Alright, so now everything is set up and you can begin making the game. So, uh, that begs the question, what the frick am I doing? <laughs> so, from here, so from here, now you can actually start learning how Game Maker Studio works. So, there's a bunch of different things that you can add to your project to make more things. You have sprites, sounds, backgrounds, paths, scripts, shaders, fonts, timelines, objects, rooms, and then a few other things here like macros. Uh, I'm not going to get into all of these because some of them, like paths, scripts, and shaders, are very complex and beginner game makers usually will not use these three things so or timelines for as a matter of fact they're not going to use timelines either because most people will just use variables that being said that's kind of that's kind of just showcasing around uh it's kind of showcasing around a game maker telling you how to get the engine actually set up and such and in the next episode, I will be teaching you how to make, like, basic levels. So, thank you guys so much for watching. Uh, if you want to see more content from me, like, subscribe, and leave a comment down below. And I will see you in the next episode. Bye-bye!